Hello, my little green birds. So, God, I can't even, I didn't even do an intro right today. Okay, so, oh my God, it's whatever. It's just one of those days. But anyways, um, welcome back to my channel, my little green birds. And yes, in today's video, what I'm going to be going over is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to be going over a simple three products. I'm just going to go over three products right now. And um, it is by Last Looks Grooming Company. So I am really excited because if you guys recall in my last big haul that I did, if you guys refer to that, um, I kind of um, was just slightly exploring some of the scents that they have, but I haven't really fully delved into it. Everything is still sealed except for the fee beer bottle. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. Before we resume with the video that you guys are anticipating to watch, I just wanted to let you guys know that Last Looks Grooming Co. was so gracious and generous uh, enough to offer me a what? You, know, you guessed it. Code. And that code is GREENBIRD10. We all love saving money and during this time right now in the state of you know, what's going on with outside of our world. We all need to save money and it doesn't hurt using that 10% discount to save on your transaction. When you go to the website, just use Greenbird 10 and you are able to save 10% off your entire purchase. And I earn a little commission and that commission definitely funds me making these videos, being able to afford products such as this to be able to share with you all. With that being said, thank you so much once again to Last Looks Grooming Co. And let's resume with this video. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. Um, I don't wanna get product on my, well actually I'm just gonna leave this on. I don't feel like we're moving it. Okay, so I'm gonna be going over the Beard Balm. I'm gonna be going over the Beard Butter and I'm gonna be going over the, um, the um, Premium Beard Oil. So like I said, this is Last Looks Grooming Co. What they specialize in, okay, is beard balms and beard oils and just straight up height, uh, just straight up like conditioning. And what I recall last is um, when I was talking about them, it's another thing that they sent me um, in my last haul, um, is that they base everything off of movies. It's like, I am assuming that they are a lover of films. So a lot of their products, like for instance, right here. Um, that is based off of popcorn. So the beard oil, beard balm, and whatever is literally popcorn scented. So I would assume that. So um, I think it's really interesting and I think it's really cool. Products that I'm going to be going over is based off of a TV show, Twin Peaks. Never watched it. Kind of don't really have interest in it because I don't watch television, even though I pay for it. It's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm just more interested in the brand and um, their scents, textures, all the above. I'm gonna start off with the beard butter because beard butter is my first time having a beard butter, so I have no idea what in the world the texture is supposed to be like. Um, beard butter is supposed to be conditioning, but there's like a there's like major differences. There's like beard butter, and then there's um, all like this regular beard conditioner. So they're based in Hollywood, handcrafted, cold pressed, unrefined oils in Hollywood, California. So the ingredients were fine, shea butter, fractionated coconut oil, hemp seed, avocado, sweet almond, jojoba, apricot, kernel, castor, grape seed, rice bran, fragrance, and essential oils. So as you guys can see, this is still closed. Okay, so I was literally thinking that it was gonna look a little more oily because there have been some balms that I have looked at. No, wait, actually, butters. Butters that I have looked at that look like that there's like a, it's there's like oil sitting in it. So I have no idea because I don't know if that might be too heavy or whatever. Okay, so 
The scent of this is not as powerful as this one that, that I smelled last time. So this is supposed to have a scent of cherry pie. Let's pull it up really quick. I know that there's coffee scent in this. So there's coffee, cherry pie, and this is Washington Forest. I haven't been to Washington State at all, so I would have no idea. I would assume it probably reminds me of Oregon. Okay, so now that the oils are warmed up and the fragrance, I can smell the... I can smell the coffee notes. So it emulsified very well. So far it feels really good. It's so gonna brush my beard. Let's distribute some of the oil a little further. So far it smells really good. Um, I feel like the, the beard butter, just from the smell of it, feel like that the scent is going to dissipate a little. Texture is pretty good, pretty spot on. Okay, so, um, this is, so basically, Beard Balm is more of a styling product. It smells really good, and I, like, um, there's really not much, too much of a difference with the way how it looks and the beard butter and the beard balm, but this I would assume has more wax base because it's supposed to be a styling balm. I'm gonna put the beard oil on. So I have never opened this, okay? So there you guys go. In case of wondering, I wonder what the texture for the oil is supposed to be. It smells like the oil is a little more amplified. I'm just gonna put four or five drops on. It's not gonna kill me. Okay, so I smell more coffee so far in the, in the beard oil. I smell more coffee. Um, the cherry pie is more of a high note versus this because like, the the lingering note was more the cherry pie and then the, like the stronger note of course was like the coffee but with the beard balm it is more the cherry that i'm smelling as the highest note and then the um the residual is the coffee one of the things you would want to do is if you have a lot of beard okay and if you're not conditioning, like let's just say you're doing a skincare routine, um, definitely wash your beard and condition it. And then of course, you're gonna wanna use beard balms and beard oils and all the above because you want that to actually get to your skin as well to nourish the skin underneath of this. And don't forget, you really do wanna exfoliate the skin underneath of this because you don't want ingrown hairs and you don't want irritation of the skin. Okay. It's really good. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the Beard Balm. It's nice and waxy, it does upon the touch. So I'm gonna use my thumb to scrape some of this. And this emulsifies. I really like all of it layered. So the layering makes a lot of sense, but for such a short beard that I have, I feel like you really don't probably need both of these, but I actually really, like I'm just getting more used to buying more of the products. I'm actually thinking of growing my beard out and everything because I just never do that. I never have, I've never had it grow out to here before. I think like maybe once, but it was just right here. And that was hella years ago. That was like back when I was like, oh my God, I wanna say like 18 or 19. Wow, I really like that. Once I put this on the palms of my hands and let it emulsify, I get the higher note of the cherry all together. So I definitely smell the product on me for sure. I think that it's going, the scent will last for a while, 100%. 
And since this is um, this is pretty much a beard care product, you can still put this on your skin. This nurse's skin. Put on the dry spots of your arms, your elbows, all the above. I'm gonna start off with the beard butter. So I really like the beard butter. The texture is really good. I like it's it feels very light compared to to this. I want to give this um I'm going to give this a 6. The reason why I'm giving it a 6 is because um the scent I, w I was expecting the scent to be a little more ch a little more cherry a little more cherry. The consistency is really good. I, I do give it a 10 for the way how it emulsified very quickly. Um, I I feel that the this for me, I feel like the texture just reminds me of this, but this there's wax in it. I actually really love this product a lot. I absolutely love, love, love this product right here. The Beard Balm. I really, really like it. The Beard Balm really, I felt like it, it was a good balance of the fragrance and the scent. Um, because like this, because like the initial higher note is the cherry and then it was, um, then it just has that residual of the coffee. I really like that. Whereas this one was more stronger coffee. I felt like it was a little, maybe it was like a little imbalanced with the proportions of the essential oils and the fragrance, but I give this one a flat out 10 because of the balance and also the consistency in the texture. I absolutely loved the texture. The texture was really awesome. Now, when it comes down to the um, beard oil, I absolutely love the beard oil because it had like the right amount. It was like a good balance of the cherry and coffee scent that it wasn't very overwhelming. And then once it meshed together with all the products layered on to my beard, and it's also absorbing my skin, it is really harmonizing. So this as a whole system is a 10. Um, if I did not rate this, um, like I said, I would, I'm giving this a 10 and I'm giving this a nine right here. With that being said, you guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. It was pretty straightforward. And also it was um, just simple, pretty simple. And um, yeah, I will leave information down below for you guys to check out Last Looks Grooming Co. And also thank you so much, Last Looks Grooming Co. for um, this providing awesome service it was just fast easy simple and you guys shipped off everything right away pretty much during this downtime that we're all experiencing that being said thank you so much for